Good morning, everyone, and welcome to our Wednesday webinar session today, um, where we're going to be covering, um, for the Maldives one today, we're going to be covering the beautiful Barros, Hubafen Fushi, and Malaidu Maldives. And we're joined today by Rai, Sarah, and Shaman from each of the properties, who are going to take us through um, the presentations today. Um, as always, please feel free to ask questions throughout. Um, we can do a little Q&A session at the end of each presentation, depending on how many questions there are, and then um, do another sort of bigger one at the very end to answer anything that you guys may have thought um, throughout the whole webinar today. Um, and if you have any problems hearing or seeing anything, just let us know um, and we can address that. But without further ado, I'm going to hand over now to Rai from Barros to take us through her presentation. Thank you so much, Olivia. Good morning, everyone. So my name is Rai, and I would like to take you to Baros, the Maldives icon. So let's start. So we're going to talk about the island, the villas, the experiences, uh, activities, and dining, and as well as the highlights of Baros. This is how the island looks like. As you can see, it's a natural island with a lot of uh, vegetations over here. And then the, the island size is actually it's not so big, but it's not so tiny. It's 300 meters times 350 meters in terms of the size. And then, as you can see, also we have quite a lot of uh, high, uh, high vegetation, uh, big trees, coconut palm trees, and all. So Baros is well known as the authentic spirit with the authentic spirit, the legendary service, the outstanding comfort, and also the understated elegance. In terms of the overview of the island, so Baros is located in North Malay Atoll, as you can see from this map. It's located in the middle of the atoll. So the distance from uh, Velana International Airport is 25 minutes by speedboat. It's quite conveniently um, by a very nice uh, speedboat as well with the air condition and all. So in an enchanting island, it's locally owned and managed and also has a legacy rooted in the history as well. In terms of villas, all in total, we have 75 units of villas divided into the beach and the water with pool and without the pool with eight villa category in total. So the first category is the last villa. We have 23 units of uh, the last villa. It's located all around the island from sunrise side to the sunset side. Some of the villas are a very close uh, uh, proximity or location with the house reef. Some of the villas is of course having a very nice uh, sunset view as well. So all the villas on the beach is having a direct access to the beach to the and also to the ocean. And the second category will be Baros Villas. So the Baros Villa is having a, diff, a little bit different in terms of the room layout compared to the, uh, the, the last villa. In the Baros Villa, we have um, like a four pillars on the beds uh, or next to the beds. So it's also giving a very different experience for the guests who are staying in the Baros Villas. All Baros Villas is located on the sunrise sites. It's very close to the house reef as well. And the next category is the water villa. So we have 15 units of water villa. All the water villas and the water pool villa has already been fully refurbished as you can see from the pictures. So here um, we have a bit more a lighter color with a white wash in the ceiling uh, with the blue or turquoise colors of the cushion as well. The water villa is also having a staircase uh, direct to the ocean for the guests who wanted to go swimming uh, just outside their villas. The next category will be Baros Pool Villa. So we have eight units of Baros Pool Villa, similar to the Baros Villa. However, this one is having a private pool on the deck surrounded by a uh, last vegetation. So also giving a very high privacy for the guests as well when they go swimming in their uh, private pool. The next category will be Water Pool Villas. So we have 15 units of uh, Water Pool Villas. So similar in terms of the in interior size or indoor size uh, or indoor uh, uh, furniture. So the color of the waterproof villa is very similar to the water villa as what we can we, we see previously. However, the waterproof villas is the difference is of course on the deck. We have a pool uh, on the deck with a gazebo and the pool size is not, not so small. It's quite convenient for the guests uh, who wants to go for a few laps of swimming on the private pool. And of course, in the waterproof villa also, we have a staircase goes directly to the water. And the next category will be Baro Suites. So we have seven units of Baro Suites. So Baro Suites is one of the premium villas that we have. It has a living area separated from the bedroom with a sliding door and also a, a extensive deck with the uh, swing over here. 
And then also we have the pool equipped with a jacuzzi. And also the baro suite is very conveniently located close to the house roof. So giving also the option for the guests if they wanted to go for uh, snorkeling directly from their villas. And the privacy is quite well maintained also here. Uh, we have a very high privacy. At both sides, we have the fence also with the last vegetation. And the next category will be Baros residents. We have only one unit of Baros resident, and this villas is also having a living room uh, separated from the bedroom with the sliding door. Also, the pool is uh, the pool size is also the bigger size. I mean, compared to the other villas, uh, the pool in Baros resident is the bigger one, uh, and then also having a jacuzzi in the pool. And the next one will be the, the newly addition in our inventory. So the two bedroom Baros retreat, it just completed this year in July. So we, our two bedroom Baros retreat already welcomed the guests since uh, July, 2024. And this is uh, the two bedroom. And then in the middle is the living room area. On the right side is the bedroom. On the left side is also uh, another bedroom or the second bedroom. One uh, one bedroom is on the king size bed and the other one is the twin bed size. The pool here is also equipped with the jacuzzi. And something unique in the two bedroom barrows we did is the two big trees that we kept in the deck. So giving uh, a shade for the guests if they want to, you know, laying down on the deck, enjoying the sun as well. In terms of experiences, we are offering a different types of experiences from the land to the water. And something that we are always highlighting for our guests is the marine activities. Uh, one of those is the snorkeling in our Barros House Reef. So Barros House, uh, Barros House Reef is still one of the best and healthiest house reef where the guests can see a very healthy coral life in the house reef, a lot of colorful fish, a different types of shark, different types of uh, rays. And we also have a 28 resident turtles who all has a name as well and become our residents in the house reef. And apart from that, not only snorkeling, but the guests also can go for diving. And we also have a two shipwreck. One is for snorkeling. And if you go deeper down, you also can uh, see another shipwreck when you go for the diving. Excursion, yes, we're offering a different types of excursion, uh, the sunset cruise, the morning fishing, sunrise fishing, sunset fishing, uh, dolphin cruise, and we also have a, a different vehicle for the excursion. One, we have the normal speedboat, and the second option will be with our NUMA, our traditional wooden dony boat, which also guests can rent it for privately if they want to uh, sailing across the Indian Ocean. Uh, we also have a serenity spa. So we have four villa treatment and all the villa treatment is also equipped with the private steam room area and also outdoor uh, shower area, relaxation room, and also uh, equipped with the bathtub. And uh, for now, we are using three different brands in the spa. We, have, we are using Elemis, a Teranaka, and also Kula for the after sun. And we have a different types of uh, massage in the spa. Destination dining is also something that we can arrange for the guests. Um, the guests just need to tell us what they want. We can always tell them the, the, the destination dining as per their requirements. We can do it in the sand bank outside uh, the, the resort, or if they want to do it in the resort in our one of our beach, also we can do that. Celebration, yes, we also can do uh, either it's a marriage proposal or even a wedding ceremony. There are a few places that we can do the celebration whether in the piano deck, as you can see from these pictures, or even we can do it in the sand bank. But if we go back to, to talk about the uh, piano deck, it's actually one unique uh, features in Barros. So it's uh, we have a, a deck actually, uh, which are located in one of, in, in our lagoon basically. It has a shape of a piano. So that's the reason why we call it as a piano deck. So in this piano deck also, we can arrange a different uh, uh, event. So from marriage proposal, a wedding ceremony, even if the guests wanted to have a different experience for masses, we can also arrange a private masses in the piano deck. And of course we can arrange the destination dining from a piano breakfast, lunch, or even dinner started with the cocktail. What you can hear when you have a, a, a dining in the piano deck is the only, the sound that you only can hear is the sounds of the waves, very romantic and very nice. Yes, wedding in the sand bank, also something that we can arrange. And then the other uh, places of interest uh, that we have in the resort is uh, something we call it palm garden. So before the resort is open as, a, before Baros is open as a resort, 
So the island is used to be a coconut palm plantation. So when we built the villas, somehow there are a few of coconut trees that we have to move out from the area. And we replanted those coconut trees and we put it here in the area called uh, Palm Garden. The area is also very cozy. It's a lot of shade over here. As you can see, a lot of coconut palm trees. But in the evening also, it's giving a different atmosphere for the guests. Dining. So we have uh, three restaurants and two bars. Our meal plan is bed and breakfast, half board and half board dine around. And we start with our all day dining. We call it line. So we where we serve the uh, breakfast, lunch and dinner. So breakfast will be served in buffet and a la carte and uh, lunch and dinner will be served in only in a la carte. So we also have our main pool uh, having a shape of a L shape over here, uh, overlooking the Indian Ocean and very beautiful a few of the sunset as well. And then sales bar and palm garden. So where we also serve a light lunches over here, also with the drinks, we also have a shisha and also we have an evening entertainment a performance of the local talented band, uh, which will be performed every ter Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. And then Kayan. Kayan is our one of our outlet, uh, which having the specialty of uh, dry aged meat. It's a grill house in Tepanyaki. It's open only for dinner. And then uh, next we have the lighthouse. So the lighthouse, uh, we have two story over here. And this is the first two story of a water restaurant in the Maldives. On the upper floor is the lounge where you can enjoy the, the drink, the beverage, or even um, some other cocktails over here while also overlooking the sunset. So it's a 360 degree view of the Indian Ocean. So when you open it, you will see only the ocean over here. So this is how it looks like the lighthouse lounge. And then on the ground floor is our restaurant. It's a fine dining with the Goridan service where we also uh, serving, of, uh, still we're serving uh, cuisine with the flambe. So also we have uh, one of the recommended dishes from the Lighthouse restaurant. Our signature restaurant is the Cognac Lobster Beef Soup, which is will be prepared in, prepared in a flambe in front of the guests and there will be a fire. So when uh, the Cognac is served, then the fire will be coming out. So the highlight for Barros, first of all, is the location. It's very conveniently located 25 minutes away from the Galana International Airport. And we also can arrange transfer according to the international arrival and departure of the guests. So there's no waiting time for the guests at the airport, whether they arrive early in the morning or whether they departure very late at night. So we will be uh, arranging uh, the transfer according to their international flight. The gastronomy with option of three, uh, three restaurant, two bars and destination dining. So uh, Baros is also offering a different cuisine, different types of cuisine for our guests during their stay. House Reef, as mentioned earlier, so Baros House Reef is still one of the best and healthiest house reef in the Maldives. So this is also something that we always recommended uh, the guests to do while they are staying in Baros and diving as well. So Around Malay Atoll, we have around 30 diving spots where very conveniently uh, reach out by 30 to 45 minutes by the Doni. And also Baros is the first eco dive center in the Maldives since 2010. And we also offering a night diving, a night snorkeling, or even a floor diving as well. Adult friendly, Baros is accepting guests from the age of eight years and above, uh, again, to maintain the concept of Baros. So basically, Baros is very ideal for people who are really looking for relaxation, pure serenity, tranquility. We don't have buggy at the resort. We don't have bicycle at the resort. There's no noise except for the nature noise, like the waves, like the birds, uh, the, the, the leaves and all. So this is the only things that you can hear here. So adult friendly is also something that, you know, very ideal for the couple get, get, get together or even the honeymooners itself. Yes, so that is, this is our a resort map. So you can see where it's located in where. So thank you for your time. Uh, I'm giving back to Olivia. Hi, Rai. Um... Perfect, thank you so much um, for taking us through beautiful Barros, one of my favorite properties ever. Um, so we've actually got a couple of questions. Um, if you, we could just maybe go through them now. Um, so the first question is, um, what would you say Barros's main market is? Okay, 
That's a very good question. <laughs> so main market for Baros at the moment is UK is still number one, I would say. So UK is always uh, having in annual, like between 20% of the market share uh, on yearly basis. It's quite high compared to the other market. And then the second market share for Baros is Dach market. So we have Germany, Switzerland, and Austria. Uh, so this is the, the top market for Baros. And the number three is Russian market. So we also are having quite a lot of um, uh, Russian, including uh, CIS as well. And then the fourth one will be uh, United States. So the United States is also uh, having quite a lot of uh, market share numbers uh, for Baros. Yeah. Perfect. Thank you. Um, and and we, oh, sorry. One moment. If I can just uh, add a little bit uh, on that one. So also Baros having quite a lot of repeaters client, especially from the main market, from UK, Dach market, and Russia. So all in one, I mean, annually, uh, we can have around 30 to 35% of repeaters in Baros. Okay, perfect. Um, uh, we've got another question, which is, um, does Baros offer all-inclusive rates? Uh, unfortunately, we do not offer all inclusive. So the meal plan is uh, bed and breakfast, half board and half board dinner. However, we can always share uh, the menu uh, from our restaurant for lunch and also the beverage to give an idea of, for our clients, for our uh, travel partners as well about the pricing uh, in, in Baros. We just recently also adjusting uh, the pricing in our outlets to make sure to ensure that it will be uh, affordable for our clients as well. Mm -hmm. Perfect. And then we have someone just asking about the half board dine around um, mm -hmm. plan. Um, so what well, I think probably best if I just, um, I'll take those details and email Person oh, okay. Directly, just with um, yeah, the full outline of what is included in the half board. Um... Oh, okay, it's also easy. I can explain very quickly for that one. Okay. So basically, half board then around the guests will be having the choice for dinner uh, either at Lime or Kayan at any time they want, and then every four night, um, also the guests will be having a one time dinner in Lighthouse uh, Restaurant every four night. So if your if your guest is staying for seven night, they will only get one time in Lighthouse. But if your guest is staying for eight nights, then they will get uh, two times in Lighthouse. And apart from that, the uh, Hapo Dineron also will include a bottle of wine during the dinner every night. So one bottle of wine from the selected menu uh, given per, per fila every dinner. Amazing. Thank you. Um, yeah, I definitely had one of my best meals at the Lighthouse, the Lobster Beast. <laughs> Very famous. That's, that's good to hear. It's <laughs> unbelievable. So I definitely recommend everyone, um, yeah, guests going to the lighthouse. Um, Thank you so perfect. much. Perfect. Thanks so much, right? If anyone does um, think of any other questions um, uh, in the rest of the webinar uh, about Barros, then please do feel free to ask and then we can um, address those at the end. Um, but now we're going to hear from Shaman from Huberfen Fushi. Um, very exciting property, which has been recently renovated and is looking absolutely amazing. And we're going to hear all about it. So... Um, if you wanted to go ahead and um, share your screen, Shaman, and then, um, yeah, you can get into, the, into that. Sure. Uh, I hope you can see my screen. Yes, thank you. You know, if it works on full screen, is it all right? Yeah, perfect. Full screen. Okay. All right. Um, good morning, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us today. I'll be presenting uh, Huofen Fushi to you. Um, so we will now take you a little bit um, further from Boros in North Mali at all. We'll go to Huofen Fushi. So welcome to Huofen Fushi. Um, okay. Um, so Huofen Fushi, actually, there's a lot of history to Huofen Fushi. Um, it was the benchmark for luxury in the Maldives, the, the property to have, you know, uh, pools in all the bungalows and pavilions. The first one to introduce personalized butler service for all the guests, uh, home to world's first and only underwater spa, um, and also the first underground wine cellar in the Maldives. So there's a lot of firsts to its name, and Huofen Fushi is actually the property that has actually created uh, a benchmark for luxury properties to come in the Maldives. And um, we positioned the property as a five-star deluxe. Um, and so basically, in very, very short, Huofen Fushi offers laid-back luxury with a distinct uh, Maldivian influence. Um, and very, very proudly, um, like all our resorts in the Universal Resorts portfolio, it's a 100% natural island. 
uh, very rich in nature and uh, provides a lot of intimate spaces. So it's perfect for couples, a small group of friends, and also those seeking privacy and unique experiences. Um, so this is, in fact, why we actually call it Hofen Fushi. It's translated directly as the dream island in English, and it's a century of wonders. And um, we're actually very blessed to be located in a beautiful part of North Mali at all. Uh, the best part is that there is no flight paths or boat movements around, which means we are very blessed and lucky to have uninterrupted views that really celebrates the beauty of Indian Ocean from all around the island. And, um, you know, which also means we can cater to arrivals and departures anytime during the day or night. As And we are located just 35 short, um, a 35 minute short speedboat ride from the airport. And just in case there is any waiting time, we do also have a private lounge at the airport um, right um, right beside the international arrival terminal. Um, and uh, like Olivia mentioned, actually, um, speaking about the origins and, you know, the glory days of Hoof and Fushi, we closed it um, last year in May and we reopened in October after a full renovation. And we also did a rebranding to give it a facelift that you're seeing in this um, presentation, actually, the logo that we saw, you know, softer, lighter colors. Um, and apart from the interior design and the changes and also the, you know, larger new pools in the deluxe beach bungalows, we've built actually two units of two bedroom ocean pavilions that we'll show you in a little bit. We converted the, the cube we used to call it, into a two-bedroom beach house with pool, and we converted a two-bedroom into a three-bedroom. So a lot of exciting changes as well um, during the renovation. So in short, we now have 46 units on the island that, that consists of um, uh, 40 units of one bedrooms. That is a combination of beach and over water. And the uh, rest of the six rooms are two-bedroom and the three-bedroom unit we have on the island. So... Um, so going on to the accommodations, um, Lagoon Bungalows with Pool, this is actually the entry room type of the resort that the, offers the perfect location for guests who wish to swim, especially. Um, this is the entry category um, that offers um, an experience of the overwater accommodations, and uh, it has a maximum occupancy of up to three guests that can be two adults and one child or up to three adults. So this is um interior shot. As you can see, um, it used to be a darker shade of brown. So we've now changed all of that, all the furniture, all the interiors to lighter, brighter colors and a bit more softer as well. So you can see it gives us a feel of being more spacious. And actually during the renovation, um, I mean, we still kept those uh, remote controlled um, curtains in the bathroom and in the, um, in the rooms as well. Um, and... Yeah, the bathroom with a beautiful view of the Indian Ocean. And Deluxe Beach Bungalow is actually the category that has the most changes. We have 16 of these on the island. We've completely transformed, uh, transformed the, um, the category during renovations. So um, the pool that you see here on this picture, it used to be actually a small pool on the side of the deck. So we've extended the deck. We built brand new pools that is quite large in size. Um, and we've added this area, we've extended uh, to the side and added a day bed as well. So it's got, um, apart from the interior changes, this is the category that has had the most changes, I would say. Um, and since we did the renovation, we've been getting some amazing feedback from the guests, um, having an elevated experience in these units. And this is actually one of the best things about the room as well, having the pool at the back. So we, we actually have two pools in these rooms, one in the front that you just saw, and the existing one that we used to have even before that is in the back accessible through the bathroom. So during the renovation, we've actually closed the bathroom completely. Um, and this is now air conditioned as well. And you've got two vanities on the sides and the front, the, the fittings, the bathtub, everything is brand new. We use diptych as, um, um, as amenity in the rooms. Um, and also a small fun fact that you would probably not find anywhere. We've installed those remote controlled, um, you know, Japanese toilets um, in the in all the villas. Um, of course, it's it's a small thing that is actually um, appreciated by a lot of guests. Guests, and it gives a touch of a modern, uh, um, you know, um, elevated experience as well to the rooms. Um, so just just a fun fact for you because it's not really mentioned anywhere. 
Um, and next comes the ocean bungalows with pool. So this is the third category of the resort. Um, uh, we have a few pictures to show you, but before that, actually, this uh, this picture really sums up everything about this room in very short. So just like the entry room type Lagoon bungalow with pool, um, you have the um, you have the bathroom on the side here that you can see, um, with a large glass uh frame door, which which allows you to see the beautiful Indian Ocean, uh, right in front from the bathtub, and then in the middle you have the bedroom, and then on the side here, the right hand side of the screen you see here is a uh, is a extended living area, so it's quite a large footprint, um, which is why we have actually started to now, um, accommodate two adults and two children as well. Um, and it of course it's got um it's got a nice uh, plunge pool in the front, um and also has direct access to the house free for snorkeling and also some of these rooms has a partial sunset view, um so this is the shot of the living area with a glass frame on the bottom that um that lets you see the um the sea from underneath as well and actually one of the best the one of my favorite things about this these rooms is that um you know when you go out into the deck in the night and when you switch off all the lights um you really have nothing but the stars above you so it's really a, a nice experience um in that sense as well you know having this feeling of privacy and secluded um you know romantic feel that you can get from these villas because of the location um, so this is an interior shot, which is quite similar to what we have seen in the other villas as well. Um, and similar to the Lagoon bungalows, as I mentioned earlier. And you can see here, actually, this view, there's actually nothing at sight, which is why it makes it um, a really private experience. Um, and this is the two-bedroom category. So um, as I mentioned earlier, we now have four units. So we used to have two units um, in the past. We've now built two more um during the renovation so again um okay i'll move back to the original picture to explain a little bit more so similar to the other overbed overwater categories you see here the bathrooms overlooking the indian ocean so you've got two bedrooms on the sides and you've got a large living space uh in the master bedroom um uh, sorry living space and the dining space in the front and the existing units that we had before the renovation actually the pool goes all the way from the living area onto the deck. So you'll see here, this is the master bedroom and then a shot of the second bedroom with twin setup. And then this is the living area and the dining space that you see here on the side, right hand side. And the pool that goes from inside the room all the way to the deck. Shot of the bathroom with the bathtub. And this picture, this is actually one of my favorite pictures to be very honest. So this is the, the right hand side you see here is the rooms that we had before the renovation and the ones that you see here on the left side is ones that we built uh, during the renovation. And this area, this is actually the, I hope you can see my arrow. So basically the ones that is facing outwards from the island, these are the ocean bungalows with pool, the one bedroom units that we just saw. Um, so there's actually nothing at sight, which is why you get that beautiful feeling um, in the evening, especially. Um, so this is actually the, the the new units that we built. It's slightly different. The only difference is that the pool is now completely um, on the deck on these rooms, the new units. So this is some of the shots of the um, unit. So this pic, this um, the floor plan actually gives you a better idea. So this is the unit uh, on the left hand side is the one that we had before the renovation. And the one that we built during the renovation is on the right hand side of the screen. Um, I apologize in advance for the confusion if there is any, uh, but we actually call it the ocean uh, pavilions. So you'll find it on the contracts and hummingbird system as ocean pavilions, but we're keeping the name here on the presentation just so that you have an understanding of the difference only. So now um, this is the two bedroom beach house. Um, we've got two rooms on the first floor and downstairs you have um, you have a large living area, a kitchen and a dining space. And there's also a large outdoor deck with a pool. And um, in this room as well, the second bedroom is actually twin setup. Um, and it's quite a large area um, with 800 
um, square meters. We have just one of these um, in the resort. It's very ideal for snorkeling on the house roof as well and perfect for you know families or couples or friends traveling together. Um, yeah, so it's got a really nice pool in the front and direct access to the beach, of course. Um, and uh, this is where, again, um, sorry, I just want to highlight that the two bedroom that we just saw is actually um, uh, one of the changes that we brought during the renovation as well. So it used to be a one bedroom unit with a large uh, living area downstairs uh, with the master bedroom on the top. So during the renovation, we actually built the second bedroom on the top floor, uh, making it a two bedroom. And similarly for the three bedroom pavilion as well. Uh, so these, this room actually is also one unit in the inventory. It's got a ocean view and it's sunset oriented. We've added an additional room during renovation to make it a spacious three bedroom unit. It's very ideal for families and we can accommodate up to nine adults. Um, it has a private beach area, very easy access to snorkeling on the house reef. Uh, the master bedroom that you see here is on the first floor. Um, there's also a glass floor space looking onto the living room. Um, and the second and the third bedroom is on the ground floor with a separate living space. And um, the ground floor bedrooms uh, has twin set up in these rooms as well. A few more shots just to show you the beautiful pool in the front and the living space. So um, there's actually a couple of additional benefits as well for guests who books these larger units. Um, in addition to the you know other benefits that we provide for all the guests, you get a daily fruit basket in the in the villa every day. Um, you you have full laundry service, including dry cleaning. You've got um, the option to serve breakfast in your villa upon request, and or for for these units, we also upgrade um, transfers to private return transfers for all the guests. Um, so that is available for all the two bedroom and the three bedroom unit. Um, there's also personalized departure gift, and you also get to, um, you know, personalize your mini bar and uh, pillows upon request. Um, and then the there's also sun sundown or cocktail experience once during stay included as well. Um, and in terms of meal plans, we actually um, offer um, basically three meal plans. That's breakfast included in the room rates, and you've also got a half board and a full board option. Um, we have four restaurants and the main bar on the island. Um, and of course, there's, uh, you know, with an island this beautiful, you have a lot of private dining options all around to celebrate that uh, beautiful natural settings that we'll see here in a little bit. Um, so in short, um, Celsius, is, um, Celsius is actually partially located over the water. It's open for breakfast and dinner. International cuisine, uh, you've got hot and cold options. And there's a, also an a la carte option. Um, and during the renovation, again, we added this enclosed um, buffet area as well. And Foglianis is actually a contemporary Mediterranean cuisine um, outlet that's on the beach setting. With oven pizza, you also have lunch on a la carte menu as well. And one of my personal favorites in, and highly recommended is the um, paella. If you ever happen to go down, please do give it a try. Um, and here we actually have two outlets that's raw. Um, raw is the one that's um, below and the salt is the one, the larger structure that you see on the top. So um, raw actually offers, um, you know, raw and organic wholesome food with fresh ingredients. And salt is actually the signature restaurant with a Japanese uh, cuisine that is with a Latin twist, is a Kaya style dining as well. Um, Binam. Uh, is the first underground wine cellar uh, in the Maldives, as I mentioned, that's eight meters below the ground. We hold a capacity of over 5,000 bottles and at any given time, we maintain at least 400 labels. Um, and this is where we, you can also enjoy um, things like uh, uh, wine, uh, just dinners as well. And uh, Amba is actually the main bar of the island. Um, located uh, close to the pool where we also have our evening entertainment throughout the week. Um, and as I mentioned earlier, you have a lot of options really um, to enjoy the beautiful natural surroundings uh, in the resort. Uh, so for all these options, the chef will actually customize um, the menu to your preferences. Um, so for example, um, the you have things like lobster dinners, 
champagne and lobster dinner in the infinity pool that's the shallows of the pool it's a fiber lit pool so it feels like you have stars underneath and then of course you have stars above you as well um one of the uh, one of the highlights of the private dining experiences would definitely be the um underwater dining experience and what makes it quite unique is that it's not a restaurant it's actually the underwater spa room uh, which means it's a completely private dining experience there's nobody other than you so the team sets up um the um dinner table just for you um and it's a really romantic experience definitely the perfect location for once in a lifetime experiences like you know um a wedding anniversaries um engagements and things like that um and now we go on to one of the biggest highlights of the resort the spa uh, Hoofen is home to the world's first and only underwater spa room that's eight meters below the sea. And of course, we do have the um, overwater treatment rooms that we just saw as well. Um, and there's actually a lot of experiences that we provide on the island as well. So you've got, um, you know, you've got a cinema experience in the Koi Garden. Um, you know, you have guided snorkeling, uh, Paddy Certified Dive Center. There's a marine biologist um, in-house as well. Uh, so in fact, a spa aquarium is actually another interesting experience that we conduct in the underwater spa room where the marine biologist actually takes you down on to the spa room, switches off all the lights and use ultraviolet lights and special goggles to show you the vibrant colors of the reefs at, in the evening. And you get to enjoy, uh, you know, canopies and champagne um, while you have a look around. So this is done just before uh, dinner time, so around sunset time. So that's a little bit about Huofim Fushi. Um, it's a small private island with a lot of intimate spaces um, and you have rooms around the island on the beach accommodations and these beautiful rooms that overlooks the beautiful Indian Ocean and those other rooms or the overwater rooms we call them the lagoon bungalows with pool and this is why we actually noted it as uh, two bedroom uh, lagoon pavilions because those are actually located the new two units are actually located on the lagoon side of the island. And um, just to highlight, some of those larger villas are still also available um, during the festive season and we have some amazing offers. So they're all yours to grab uh, while it lasts. So um, please do reach out if you have any further questions. Yep, um, that's a little bit about Hoof and Fushi. Amazing, thanks, Shaman. Um, <clears throat> We do have one question that um, asked, which is, does Hoofen offer bikes or buggies to guests? No, we actually don't have, um, we don't have actually bikes on the island. Um, and we can actually offer um, buggy service to, uh, you know, on request to assist the guest, um, but not in general. It's a very small, tiny island. You can actually walk around and, you know, it, it, it might it's actually even smaller than it probably looks on the on the map i would say because if you cross over from the arrival jetty you're surprised to find out that by like uh, you know a short walk you're already on the other side perfect thank you um we've got one more that just came in um is hoover fan adults only uh, this is a question we've actually got a uh, few um, times in the past as well. And I should have actually started off with that. Um, at one point it was, um, but this is where the confusion probably comes from. Uh, Hofen is actually open for guests of all ages and we do, there's actually no restriction for children. Um, although it's not a primary target market as such, uh, we do accept children of all ages. Perfect. Thank you. Um, yeah. yeah, another question, which is, is it suitable for honeymooners? So essentially, yes, yes it definitely is. Yeah. yeah, everyone does say it's a very romantic island. Yeah, it is for sure. <laughs> Perfect. Thank you so much, Shaman. Um, so yeah, if anyone else thinks of anything um, for the rest of the webinar, please do ask, um, because now we're going to hear from Sarah at Malaidu, um, another one of our favorite properties, definitely. Um, it's our CEO Tom's favorite property in the whole of the Maldives. I know that for sure. 
Um, so yeah, very exciting to hear about this one now. Um, if you do have any questions throughout, please feel free to ask and we can um, ask Sarah at the end. All right, so last but not least, we're just gonna go to Milaido. I'm just trying to make it actually big. Sorry, Boschke mode. There we go. All right, so now we've been in Mala at all, all this time. So now we're gonna go a little bit further. We're gonna go to Milaido. Uh, Milaido is located in Bartol, so it's about 35 minutes by seaplane. We also have alternatively the option to arrange a domestic transfer in case the uh, arrival flight of the guests is late or they have a very late departure from Mali. Um, so in that case, we actually arrange the domestic flight, which would be from the uh, Darangandu airport. And our island is very, very tiny. Uh, you can walk around in literally 12 minutes. So Milaido got only 50 villas um, located on it. And the entry categories are the water pool villas. We got 29 of those, 245 square meters, all of them with its private pool and then there's butler service as well. Um, you can see that they have very large comfortable stairs leading into the water as well as around 42 square meter pools, um, all with full privacy. So there's a lot of space between each of the villas. Um, really guaranteeing that privacy that you need in the Maldives. We then have also 18 beach pool villas, which are slightly larger. So they are about 290 square meters and all of them can open up in the front 200, um, I'm sorry, all of them can open up in the front 180 degrees. Um, some of them have a bit more vegetation in front, like the one you can see right now. Some of them have a bit less. So it's always helpful if you actually tell us what the guests are looking for, so we can allocate a villa accordingly. Um, yeah, they have an indoor and outdoor bathroom with a shower as well. And this is a view onto the villa. So you can see a lot of local designs, a lot of Maldivian elements that have been um, incorporated actually by the local architect, uh, Sape, just to really showcase the Maldives as they are to the tourists. We also have two beach residences. They are slightly larger because they have a separate living room. So for everyone who needs a bit of space, um, those are the perfect villas. They also come with a bit of extra perks, just like um, a half day cruise, a private chef that creates all the menus to guests' um, desires. You have a cinema under the stars um, and a dedicated butler that's 24 seven only with you. That's the view one from it. So we just got two of those, one of each side of the island. And last but not least, the Grand Dam, which is at the very end of uh, our water villa jetty. That's our two bedroom ocean residence. Um, as the name suggests, it has two bedrooms, a 60 square meter pool, and on the upper floor, its own private gym. So guests can actually exercise right in the villa without ever having to see in anyone. That's the living room onto the master bedroom with a little um, glass floor. So you can see the fish swimming by. And this is the second bedroom. Um, it's a bit smaller than the a master bedroom, but we can combine the beds and it has its own bathroom as well. In terms of restaurants and bars, Milado has three restaurants, two bars, and the only meal plans available are either half board or Milado Gourmet plan, which is our form of all inclusive. So we have the ocean restaurant that's all day dining, open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Um, it's a la carte. However, breakfast is a semi buffet. So we do offer an a la carte um, menu, but we also have lots of live stations like a fruit cutting station, um, a live sushi station. So everything that makes breakfast interesting and things that you want to see. Shoreline Grill is only open for dinner, um, serves the finest uh, meat and seafood items, and guests can literally sit barefoot um, in the sand right next to the sea. We also have our teppanyaki table and wine cellar allocated over there. And most famous is actually Butterly, that's the signature restaurant, which was the first Maldivian fine dining restaurant. It's literally dining on the boat without getting seasick because the boat's fixed. So um, yeah, there's no movement. Compass Pool Bar is open um, throughout the day, loves, uh, serves light snacks, and every six nights a week we have a live plant playing over there as well. So it's quite a nice spot for sunset, really, um, to catch every evening. And for everyone who likes it a bit more quiet, we recommend Batali Lounge because, uh, yeah, Batali is the quiet place and it's perfect for sundown or prior to having a dinner over there. 
terms of facilities, we have a spa which has four treatment rooms. Um, all of them are double and they have small um, steam rooms as well for all the guests to use. We offer complimentary yoga every morning. We also do three times a week um, aerial yoga for everyone who wants to try that. And Milado itself is very famous for its house reef. So Ocean Stories, our water sports center, provides diving. It's a paddy diving center, um, all kinds of courses. We have snorkeling as well as non-motorized water sports. And our marine biologist, Narika, is um, constantly coral planting with the guests, as well as explaining them the reefs in our surroundings. We do offer all kinds of regular Maldivian excursions. So we get fishing either in the morning or in the evening. We have all kinds of cruises during the sunset to watch dolphins. And we're very lucky because of Bartol, there are plenty of them coming in and out every day. Um, as well as we have a lot of sandbanks around that we use for private events. So we do sandbank dining, um, lunches, even sandbank breakfast, uh, beach dining, lots of private events actually. And what you can see here is called Sleeping Under the Stars. So the team is literally, um, yeah, is literally preparing the bedroom of the guests on a sandbank. So they'd go out for, um, they would go out for a dolphin cruise, they would have some drinks, some sundowners, land at the sandbank, have a dinner there with their private chef, sleep over there all by themselves, and the next morning even have a breakfast there or yoga if they wish, and then be picked up again. So it's something, yeah, quite unique in the Maldives, obviously. We also are just 15 minutes away from Hanifaru Bay, which is the UNESCO Biosphere Reserve, and it's very famous for mantas whenever it's season. Season usually starts from beginning or mid of May until mid of November latest. Um, yeah, so we are about to finish the manta season for this year and we arrange trips to there for snorkeling for our in-house guests, as well as lots of private cinemas um, on the beach or on the guest deck if they desire. And Milado itself is a very romantic resort, so we do allow guests from eight years and above, which means we have, um, yeah, my Majority of our guests are actually couples, not necessarily only honeymooners. We also have a lot of baby mooners and we have nice benefits, just like a gender reveal cake. Um, the baby mooners can plant a coral in future, in the name of the future child, and we will send an update every three months. But also in terms of um, renewal of vows. So yeah, it's a very romantic island overall. And that would be all I could share from uh, Milaito. Amazing. Thanks, Sarah. Um, do you get any questions for me? <laughs> yes, we do have a question. Um, again, on the whole honeymoon family yeah. front, um, just another question saying, um, how would you say the resort compares honeymooners to families for being, which one is better, basically, I think they're saying. Um, okay, so... Or both. Well... Like I said, we do allow children from age of eight years and above. However, we don't have a kids club. We don't have babysitter facilities. So the majority of our guests are couples, um, not necessarily only honeymooners. We have a lot of couples which are in an age where the kids have grown old enough not to travel with the parents anymore. So they finally decide just to have time together again after many years, um, just being a couple. So we do have occasionally families. We also have a program that we can roll out for the kids, let's say. Um, but yeah, the primary guest of Milaido would be actually, um, yeah, would be couples. Perfect, thank you. Um, we also have a question about your comp sets, uh, but I guess um, instead of saying that, we could just say, what other properties would you say are similar to Milaido or like a similar level that would be comparable to yeah. Milaido. So it's, it's hard to compare because a lot of our competitor set actually does allow families. However, um, we've put in our comp set Anantaraki Hava, Four Seasons Landa, also Sonova Fushi, all of them being super great for families and kids. So whenever actually the parents travel or the children without the parents because they're old enough, they would actually then come and choose Milaido. So it's, it's at that level just without the whole family aspect. Perfect. Um, 
Great. So yeah, I think that's all the questions that we have um, and know more about Baros or Huberfen. But if people do think of anything afterwards, please feel free to reach out to me um, and I can come back to you on those questions. Um, but yeah, thank you so much, everyone, for joining us today. Thanks so much to Rai, Shaman and Sarah for taking us through three of um, the very best and some of our favorite properties in the whole of the Maldives. Um, we're going to put the recording on our YouTube channel, so please refer back to it whenever you need and share it with colleagues or anyone else in the industry. Um, but yeah, thanks so much again for joining us and have a good rest thank of the day. You so thank, much. You. thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye.